Now we'll discuss about the paramesonephric duct. It is also known as Mullerian duct. In previous lectures, you have seen ectodermal lining, endodermal lining. Between ectoderm and endoderm, derm, there is mesoderm. And this mesoderm, this is position of notochord here, this mesoderm divides into paraxial mesoderm, this is paraxial mesoderm. This is lateral plate mesoderm and in between these two there is intermediate mesoderm. So this intermediate mesoderm forms nephrogenic card and in nephrogenic card gonads, excretory tubules, mesonephric duct and paramesonephric duct develops. Here you can see this is developing gut, this is mesentery, here is portion of nephrogenic tar and medial most structure here gonads develops, then tubules develops. Then mesonephric duct develops and lateral most structure is this is paramesonephric duct. So this is paramesonephric duct. Or Mullerian duct. So it develops from Invagination of the synovic epithelium, this epithelium which invaginates. If you see, this is epithelial lining. Here, epithelial cells. It invaginates. Here you can see this, this invaginates. It invaginates like this. So this Invaginates and gradually it forms, yeah, it becomes enlarged and form the tube or duct. So it forms the mesonephric duct. So mesonephric duct develops from invagination of the coelomic epithelium here, coelomic epithelium which invaginates and form the mesonephric duct. And here you can see this end, this end is upper end, here this end is open and through this end it communicates with the peritoneal cavity. This is, the, this opening forms ostia. Of the fallopian tube. If you can see here, here is position of developing gonad. In case of the female, this is ovary. Here is position of Highly part of urogenital sinus, you have already seen. 
the pilot part of this is pilot part of euro generator service it differs from the Koyeka you have only seen this is position of the you will the sinus Koyeka device into primitive urogenital sinus and rectum so this is urogenital sinus and it forms the unibladder here is this is urethra and primitive urethra and this is pelvic part of urogenital sinus this is pelvic part of urogenital sinus so this is pelvic and pelvic part so this part is this this is pelvic part of the urogenital sinus and here, this paramesonephric duct lies lateral to mesonephric duct. Here lies mesonephric duct. Here is position of mesonephric duct, and mesonephric duct opens here. This is site of the opening of the mesonephric duct. And this pelvic part here, here is position of here is ostia. And around the ostia, fimbri develops. So here fimbri develops. So this is ostia and fimbri. Through ostia it communicates with the peritoneal tract. And this part fuses here and form the uterovaginal canal. This is uterovaginal. Canal. And this uterovaginal canal ultimately forms uterus, cervix, and upper part of vagina. This pilot part from the upper part of the vagina here. This pilot part from the lower part of the vagina, and this from the uterovaginal canal from upper part of the vagina. Here you can see in another diagram. Here is position of the ovary. This is fallopian tube. So this upper part, this paramesonephric duct from the uterine tube, this part is uterine tube, it forms the uterine tube. This uterovaginal part from the uterus, cervix and upper part of the vagina, up to this level, here, upper part of the vagina. Lower part is formed by the pelvic part of urogenital sinus. So these structures derived from Mullerian duct or paramilionophic duct in female. In male, if you see in male, this, this part, this uterovaginal canal, this uterovaginal canal, in male here, this part form Prostatic utricle, it forms prostatic utricle. 
and uterus masculinus uterus masculinus in men and remaining part become disappear from here to here this part disappear in case of male this part disappear and this upper part this terminal part this upper part it forms appendix of testis in case of male here testis is present so this part terminal part persist and remaining part disappear and it attach here and the testis and form the appendix of testis appendix of testis are hydrated of margarine hydrated of margarine This is hydrated of the margarine or appendix of testis. So remember, appendix of testis is a cranial most part of the pyramidal thread duct. And here is mesonephric thread duct. The cranial most part of the mesonephric thread duct it forms in male it forms appendix of epididymis. So. Appendix of epididymis is formed by the real most part of the major appendix duct. So, major appendix duct, as I discussed. So, here remember only this this thing. In male, paramedial appendix duct forms prostatic utricle or the uterus masculinus and. Appendix of testis, appendix of testis. Two structures are found. So this is all about the pyramidal duct, arboreal duct. Thank you.